Hey guys, it's Zach and welcome back to the shop. It is time to take on the roof. I, it's something I've been dreading for a while. I've called a lot of different places and it's like 4,500 bucks on the low end. So I decided to do it myself. And the product I chose is a product called Crazy Seal. Um, but before we install all that, I want to redo all the vents and the, um, the fans that are up there. Um, just to make sure that those are all up to snuff before I go ahead and take the time to put on the whole new roof. And it's a seamless roof, so it's going to look beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead up there and start on the the small, easiest stuff first, and then get my start, then work my way up to the harder stuff. So if you want to see how I do it, stick around. <laughs> So you might have noticed I got uh, a little bit of rot in here. Uh, the good thing is it's actually only the top layer. Everything else around it, I'm not too concerned. It's, it's actually solid. So what I'm going to do is take some mineral spirits and try to soften up the rest of this um, you know, uh, sealant and try to get it as clean as possible. And then I use a, a roller to try to roll it out to make it flat as possible and then I'll add the new vent cover when that's all said and done. I also apologize for the lighting. I'm doing the best I can. Um, I am under cover because, you know, I'm a ginger and I kind of fry out in the sun. So let's go ahead and continue this on and uh, we'll check back shortly. All right, that's all there is to it. I'm gonna let that sit. It's gonna level itself out, and it's never gonna really, really dry, but it's going to, you know, harden up enough that, you know, if rain or whatever gets on it, we'll, we'll beat off. But uh, this one is good to go, and um, it'll be ready for when we add the actual roof membrane later. Um, so I'm gonna continue on and do the other one of these uh, towards the middle of the camper. All right, so, so far, those have actually been fairly easy, but now let's get on to something a little bit tougher. Hey guys, here we are on day two. We've knocked out the two vents for the plumbing and now we're gonna finish up the vent for the refrigerator. Then the next step would actually do the, the sunroof and the, I guess the, um, yeah, the sunroof for the shower and then we'll continue on. So I'm gonna go hop up there and uh, I'll see you up there. All right, so on the other stuff, you saw me using this Dicor Products self-leveling, um, I guess, lap sealant. And that works pretty good for the small stuff. For, but for the bigger stuff, I want to actually use this for the top. But when I actually seal it to this edge right here, I'm going to use butyl tape. And it comes in these big rolls 
and you just have to roll it on the seam right here, flip it over, and then screw everything down. And then when it's all said and done, you'll um, you'll add your your lap sealant on the top of that, and you are good to go. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, there we go. That edge is all nice and cleaned up. And if you look really close, I made a mistake. But that's okay because this for one this this new fan will cover over most of that and since we're using a seamless um, membrane that goes over top of all of this when all this is said and done I am NOT concerned about that little slit right there so we're gonna do it just like we did the refrigerator vent we're gonna add some butyl tape to the lip and you'll notice that this particular fantastic fan does not have a fan in it. It's just the outer shell. Um, you can, I believe, add a fan later, but I did this on purpose because this fan in the hallway almost never gets used. And I don't think there's any power run to it anyways. So I'm not too concerned. And this should also come with this trim piece on the inside. You see mine's really yellow. Um, so the, uh, the wife will be happy. stairs and the last thing we got to do is install that trim piece up here and make it all look good because you can see kind of like the rusted metal and stuff um yeah so let's add that trim piece and that should be good to go Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, I, I'm super pumped to have all that stuff done. It really just makes all the difference on the inside and outside to have all that just brand spanking new. And that's just less, less stuff to worry about. And I'll leave links down below to all the stuff I used uh, if you want to check it out yourself. And uh, the other good thing is don't really be scared to uh, make a mistake. I made plenty of them uh, during this process. The good news is the the uh, Crazy Seal solution, it will cover over all that stuff and make up for all the imperfections. So I, I, I just can't, I can't wait to get started on the rest of it. So stick around for the next episode. Thanks for watching this one. I will see you next time.